Um, I've thought about doing ASMR videos at some point. I love ASMR. I'm like a ASMR super fan. It's one of the things I don't actually talk about on the stream basically ever because I know a lot of people don't understand ASMR, so I just don't really talk about it. But I am like a hardcore, long-time ASMR super fan. Uh, like, I listen to ASMR all the time. I love that stuff. It really, really affects me. Um, but it's so good. So good. I liked ASMR before it had a name. Me too. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't know that there were like people who made videos specifically. But I. I have had the. I have experienced the ASMR effect that people talk about since I was a kid. I do, Uncle Gumbald. I used to talk about ASMR all the time. Did I talk about ASMR all the time? Anyway, everyone, it's time. What's the ASMR effect? Oh, fine, fine. I'll say one more thing about ASMR. So ASMR is a, uh, hold on, let me, let me see, let me get the actual wording for it, what it actually means. I always forget. It's autonomous sensory meridian response. It's basically, it refers to like a, uh, a some people call it a tingling, uh, sensation. Some people call it uh, like a goosebumps, like getting goosebumps. That's what I think it's most similar is like it feels like you're getting goosebumps. Um, and it's but it's pleasurable like uh, um, and the best way that I can describe it is like um, it's like the feeling that you get um, when somebody like gently scratches your back and you know you get like goosebumps and it feels really good but imagine that but prompted not necessarily by physical touch um uh asmr is usually triggered by sound or by visuals um so here's a quick test okay here's a quick asmr test that i think works pretty pretty well uh pretty well okay close your eyes real quick and i want you to imagine Somebody like maybe you're getting a haircut, okay? So you're at your you're at your haircut place and the person is just about to give you a really good head massage. So they've got like oil on their hands and they're about to give you a really good head massage. And that feeling that you get right before they give you the head massage, the like anticipation of getting a head massage, uh like you get you your body kind of prepares for it. You feel like oh, like I'm expecting this thing to happen and you usually will get like a very, very, um, a very simple uh, tingling or goosebump type sensation. Um, that is the type of feeling that, uh, that people usually experience um, when they are experiencing ASMR. Um, and of course, that's not the only one. I guess some people don't like head massages or don't like oil or some people don't like human touch so i guess uh your mileage may vary see this is see this is why i don't talk about it <laughs> i'm gonna be completely honest okay um oh friction is a different thing velvet it's a different thing friction uh friction refers to a sense of awe so like that's like the the sensation of goosebumps that you get when you are overwhelmed with awe, and it's actually a distinct sensation um, that is, in my opinion, very different. Or frisson, uh, I don't know. Uh, but uh, but for me, there's like a ton of sounds that will tingle that sort of, that will like trigger that sort of tingly sensation, um, usually centered on like my head and my spine uh, and my shoulders, um, and. Uh, yeah, I, I get ASMR very intensely to the degree that like it is a regular, uh, it is a regular thing that I enjoy for relaxation. There are very, very, very many, um, forms of ASMR and people have different things that trigger theirs. And the cool thing about ASMR is that the ASMR like, like, uh, as a genre of stuff that people do is that people have found out crazy ways, uh, to trigger people's ASMR sensations, ways that are, uh, in some ways, actually, uh, in imagine like in the ways that people talk about kink being about figuring out the ways that your body works in unexpected ways that's like asmr but for your mind and ears and eyes 
Um, it's a, a whole art of figuring out how to make people feel good without actually like having to touch them. Yeah. It's really cool. Can you give yourself ASMR tingles? Yes, I can actually like if I if I'm in a focused enough state, I can I can trigger myself. Um, I think the first ASMR that I can ever remember getting was uh, was from like whispers, like telling somebody a secret when I was like a kid. Like somebody comes up and just goes like, pss, pss, you know, and they whisper into your ear and they tell you a little secret, and like. Uh, the 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 like quiet voice and the sensation of like breath on like gentle breath on your ears is like triggers that for me. It's like probably one of the earliest things. ASMR makes me want to assault the person doing it. Sounds like you have a serious problem. I'm gonna be completely honest. Sounds like you have a real problem. I would recommend a therapist. No, that wasn't nuts, actually. And this is why I never talk about this shit, because people are really weird. Man. Man. I understand uh, people say some stuff gives me creepy crawlies. Yeah, there's sounds I don't like. Like, for example, some people really like the sound of, like, crinkling plastic. And that, I don't like that. Um, some people like uh, all kinds, there's all kinds of sounds I don't like, but I don't really feel the need to like demonize other people who do enjoy some things. Some people really, really like um, like eating food ASMR, like the sounds of people eating food, which is not something I tend to enjoy. I don't tend to enjoy videos of people eating food. Um, and, uh, but I like some weird stuff. Misophonia is a thing, and it's totally fine. It's totally fine. This is also why I don't talk about ASMR. People are mad judgy about it. Yeah, people are really, really weird. Even though the same people, it's really funny, the people who are super, uh, who are super judgy about ASMR, uh, like they, they, they can't, they can't masturbate to their uh, favorite hentai without turning themselves upside down, uh, coating themselves in hand sanitizer and hopping on their head three times while Winnie the Pooh uh, yells and well, like the voice actor for Winnie the Pooh yells in the background, and then they're like, "What the fuck is wrong with you ASMR enjoyers?" What's wrong with you? You like thinking you like you like somebody giving you a back scratch. Oh, you like it when somebody talks softly and reads you a book. Oh, what's wrong with you? Anyway, I got to go slather myself up, hop on my head and have Winnie the Pooh yell at me in order to fucking come. I'm like one inch away from just playing ASMR for the rest of the stream. I'm getting so mad. This was a stun lock and people cajoled me into talking about something that I literally opened by saying, I really like ASMR, but I don't talk about it because people are stupid about it. And then people proceed to be fucking stupid about it. Talk about, talk about, talk about fucking uh, failing the vibe check. Oh man, I had this super, I had this super good cheeseburger the other day. I hate cheeseburgers. I hate them. I'll kill anyone who eats a cheeseburger near me. If I see a cheeseburger, I'm possessed by the need to kill the person holding it. Okay, bro. All right. Chocolate! Chocolate! Xerox says, my ASMR is when wind rushes past my ears. A very common ASMR trigger is like wind blowing through your ears, like the sound of wind on a microphone, like gently on a microphone or blowing through your ears. Yeah, it's a very, very common one. Very, very common trigger. Um, D star burning, I forgot this was live. How could you ever forget?
Yeah, people like like nails tapping on something. Uh, one of the most common um, one of the most common uh, ASMR triggers is uh, amp like ambient uh, focused noise. So like one of the most popular archetypes of ASMR is like a cra a skilled craftsman doing something. So like uh, a tailor just quietly sewing clothing or a wood crafter like shaving wood very gently um or anything like that craftsmen like quietly doing their work the sort of repetitive uh ambient noise is a very very popular asmr uh, uh genre massage is obviously a really big one um yeah Oh, people, somebody mentioned hair dryers. Yeah, hair dryers are a very common one too. Like uh, the quiet sound of a hair dryer. Like usually it's not like the raw sound of a hair dryer because most hair dryers are really loud if they're close, but it'll usually be dampened down a little bit. Um, a lot of people find that one. Uh, people will pay to listen to hand sewing. Yes, they will. If your audio quality is good enough and your production quality is good enough, the ASMR community is huge. And those, uh, there are there are some people who've made a lot of money. There are like rich ASM artists, unironically. Oh yeah, another one is, uh, yeah, anyway, there's all kinds. Yeah, there's all kinds. Um, yeah. Brick laying, yep, I've heard, I've seen people do brick laying and rock carving. Uh, there's a really popular video, um, like one of the most popular uh, uh, videos in the AS in the entire history of YouTube ASMR, at least, is this video of an archaeologist uh, re replicating a carved rune, like a stone with carved runes on it. It's just this old man quietly explaining what he's doing as he chips pieces out of a rock. It's like one of the. Mo it's like crazy. It has like millions of views. Origami is another common one. Yep. Rain, crackling fires. Yep. Those are all ones that are really, really, um, really, really common. Is it this guy? Oh my God, it's probably this guy. Yep, this is the literal one. Look at this. This is the video I was talking about right here. Look at this. 5.7 million views posted six years ago. One of the most popular. Now, from time to time, you will notice that I have to sharpen um, the chisel, which incidentally is a tungsten tip chisel. And this is a diamond impregnated uh, sharpening stone. And the interesting thing is I carve faster than some people because I don't waste time using a blunt chisel because most people would just simply do it and they will test the sharpness like that, or they may even go like this to see if they can shave their skin. But that will only tell you if the edge of the chisel is sharp. But I always do this, and people scream and scream, and they hate me doing that. But what that does, can you see it's not slipping? Now if I get another chisel, which I'll get in over here, which is not sharpened properly, see it slides away. Yeah. So, there's an example. Some people wouldn't like so this, but he's not doing any harm. If I carve it, I'll slide all over the stone and I'll lose control. People who get super weird about ASMR don't realize that that's the reason why Bob Ross was so popular. Yeah, Bob Ross is another one of the legendaries. Like, Bob Ross videos are just reposted whole cloth as ASMR videos for the exact same reason. Yeah, I get that. I, I understand people feel weird about the nail touching, but, you know, not everyone feels like that. That's the whole thing. It was... Everybody's got their own things, okay? I watch a lot of ASMR and I really like it. Okay, everybody, it's time. It's time to move on to the next segment. I'm done talking about ASMR. I'm done. I'm done talking about ASMR. It's time. It's time. <laughs> 